All right guys, so we finally got a true SRT4 on the channel. So we're doing a boost controller today to get more precise boost measurements on this car. Uh, no longer doing the PCM uh, control. We're gonna delete all our solenoids. And so basically just gotta tear down everything to access our turbo here so we can get to our pressure uh, outlet and our wastegate and then remove everything that's in the way, pretty much. Finding 12 volt on ignition to hook the controller up to, find a spot in the car and get started from there. So it is update time and we're currently cleaning rims. But other than that, uh, got our solenoid installed, uh, got all the boost uh, lines ran for the solenoid. So one goes to the wastegate and the other one is from the charge side of the turbo. So basically what the solenoid does is it prevents the wastegate from seeing boost so it doesn't open. And then when the boost controller hits whatever PSI you send it at, it opens the uh, solenoid and then it allows boost to go into the wastegate to bleed it off. And on the inside, we found a spot to tap for 12 volt. Uh, power on ignition. We ran our boost reference up here in the dash. The gauge is going to sit right there, something like that. All right, so actually one thing that I forgot to mention um, for our boost reference, this is where we're coming out of. Uh, it's right out the throttle, usually what your uh, blow-off valve should be connected to. We just put a T in there and that's what we're going to grab reference boost for. And so right now we're just going to throw all this back together uh, inside like you can see it's all still taken apart All taken apart. We're gonna get this all buttoned in and I show you the update then okay really quick I'm gonna catch you guys up on the update with the cruiser uh, parts came back from the transmission shop We got flat uh, snap rings in there now uh, this clutch pack is set to 20 thousandths of an inch clearance This clutch pack is 25 thousandths of an inch clearance with the flat snap ring and also got new bearings put in. So that's the update with that. We're warming up that car right now to go. And I take you for an update on the actual car. All right, under the car update, we got some heat shielding where the turbo goes. Um, nothing too crazy on that side, but we did get this rat's nest kind of uh, situated. And yeah, so we're, we're going to go from there. Alright, so took the car for the drive. We were maxing out about 14 pounds of boost. Since we're maxing out at 14 pounds of boost, we know we have to adjust the actuator on on the um, uh, wastegate down there. So we got to tighten that up so we slam it shut more and hopefully make a couple more pounds of boost. Yeah. Watch this up here. Watch this bump. Oh, okay. Your car's actually pretty good. Did you overboost there, I think? 